Twig. There you go, Mandy. So I want to say thank you, Father, in Jesus' name for this day, for the fellowship of family and friends. I thank you, Lord, for drawing us into your heart, into your rest, into the stillness before you. I thank you that in the essence of your heart and in the stillness, we find perfect peace that surpasses man's understanding. I thank you, Lord, for your breath. As you breathe it into each and every one of us. And on the count of three, I want each and every person to grab hands in a circle and we're gonna step into the one new man, into him. And so I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name for covering us with the blood of Yahshua and what he did in the doorway that he attained for us. And so on the count of three, we'll walk through the waterfall of Yahshua's blood into the one new man. One, two, three, step in. So I know as I stepped in, I stepped in almost under a weighty presence. It's, um, I don't really see much right now, but I'm weighted down if it makes, mm. I feel floaty, but weighty. So I got stuck in the waterfall. I'm still there. I didn't go through. It was just such a nice sensation. I stayed there. <laughs> I feel I'm standing at the waterfalls in the front of the waterfalls and but I saw you guys so I stepped into the darkness and I realized my brain was starting to go through what we had just finished talking about and so I was just putting it all down and then saw this mound of packaging and I see Jesus in the middle and he goes, why are you leaving it there? So then I gathered all my junk and I put it at his feet and I stepped back and I just stood with him. And all of a sudden with this darkness still being there and I don't know, you know, what's there or not, but I started to feel at peace. I'm in the darkness. I think it's the waterfall, like Gabrielle and Eloise said. The waterfall standing, and I can see it's very white there, Father's glory. And I can feel the uh, the wind, the blowing wind from the waterfalls. It's like mist. And I, I'd like to um, welcome Lady Lady Wisdom. I I saw her join us a little while ago. You know, as as you were praying, Mandy. Oh, thank you, and thank you, Lady Wisdom, and we honor you and welcome you.
I'm just kind of wondering because I'm still in the dark area. Like, and I know Eloise says she's seen the waterfall as light. But if 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 we're in the blood of Jesus in this dark area, I'm wondering if we're still stuck here because maybe we should take communion with it. Say that again. Andy. I said, I'm wondering if we're still here, like in the blood of Jesus in this, this dark area, this dark red thing, if, if maybe we're supposed to partake, not just walk through the blood, but drink of it, partake of it, like as in communion. Mm. Well, what is, what is everyone sense? Well, well, when you said that, Mandy, I thought, well, I'm wondering if the dark because the blood when it gets um exposed to the air or whatever it kind of congeals and it's darker and it's not very flowing because there's at that point there's no life and I'm wondering if we need to raise our frequency up so that this dark blood will start flowing again because I'm just thinking, you know, with COVID and, and, and illnesses and stuff, it kind of leaves like a stickiness on the walls of uh, the veins in that. Anyway, that's just what I thought. So, well, the power, power yeah, the blood of Jesus cleanses all that right mm -hmm. so you want to lead us through with the blood of jesus to the higher frequency i mean are we partaking of the blood of jesus to elevate our frequency union? higher yeah, yeah i think we should i think yeah. that's a good idea. Should, yeah everybody good with that yeah mm -hmm. okay go ahead mandy lead us so i thank you father in jesus name and i thank you jesus I thank you for your blood that washes us and cleanses us. And I thank you, Father, that as we partake of our Lord, as we partake of you and drink of you, not only physically, but also spiritually in this, in this essence with you, Lord, that it will cleanse us um, and that our blood would it be able to be intertwined and flow with that of the blood of you. Um. So I feel honestly, y'all, as silly as it sounds as to partake of it, just to tilt my head back and literally drink of him in the essence of this flowing, because I feel like I'm standing in it. That's what I've been doing. So, so on the count of three, let's tilt our head back and let Jesus fill us with his blood in our mouth and let's partake of him. One two three drink up and i thank you jesus I can honestly say as I've been drinking, it almost turned from like a, a reddish dark haze to a purple haze to a blue. And now it's getting lighter. So I don't know if that has to do with the frequency or the elevation of it, but I seem to be moving <laughs> to through different colors. I feel like I'm moving through different thicknesses. Like it was really thick and then it started thinning out. And then it's more like uh, the consistency of wine. Like it, it's sweet and refreshing. Like it's, like it's just rinsing out all the other junk that was in me so that everything can flow. I feel like everything can flow now.
I feel like it's turned to water, like I'm under a proper waterfall now. You know, I, I do too, um, Avril, and I, it even reminded me of uh, the, like the feeling of uh, champagne. It had that consistency, the water. It had a little bubble, effervescent, which to me speaks of life, you know, life. You know, Energy. Like this yeah. Naturally started um, singing Yad Hey Hey. I don't know. I don't know if it's within, if it's uh, activating the DNA or I know his name's in our DNA or spelled in our DNA chain. But um, for me personally, I have so much peace, like weighted, heavy glory. Peace dropped on me the moment Mandy started praying us in. And then it just has gotten heavier and heavier. And I'm just, I can barely even talk. It feels so good. It's amazing. So I didn't know if we wanted to, to say Yad Hey Vav Hey together. I feel like there's something in that. Let's, yes, Lead it. Let's, yeah, let's okay, ready? It. We'll just do it three times or if we feel led to do more. Could you but. Let everybody know how you, how you want. With, just uh, exact, yeah, just how I was saying it. Yeah, go ahead and yes. just do an example. So I'll do the example, and then you guys can jump in after that. We'll just repeat it. Okay. So I've just been laying here going, Yad Hey Vav Hey Yad Hey Vav Hey Yad I think there's an activation in the DNA with this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I don't there's want to stop. You know, there's such a uh, just a heaviness. <laughs> like, mm. I just become a part of my bed here. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's right funny in. you say it's funny you say that, Jessica, because I literally seen myself turning around, floating in this champagne water, like wine, like mm. essence, like, and we're seeing this and. I feel the shocking through my chest, but it's also in the substance that's around me. And I'm just stuck in it almost just in like a, a float. It was just almost like a total surrender, just wow. back like, oh, that's so good. <clears throat> wow. As we were saying the name, I could see the letters moving in front of us. I love that. So I want to mm -hmm. say, I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And I welcome and honor the living letters. Mm. Yod, hey, Bob, hey. Mm. Mm. Avril, do you, you said you've seen them moving around us. Do you feel like they're moving around us and through us? They were just sort of like, like in front of us, but they were like, like almost dancing as we were as we were saying the name like like by saying the name we manifest them and they started dancing just in front of us in a row like you would read the name thank you There's water splashing around them, like like almost like they're moving around and the water's almost splashing off them. And I want to say, I, 
I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, and I honor the blood of Jesus, but also the testament as the blood of Yahshua holds memory, almost as in the reference of how the Spirit's reference to water and water holds memory. And I thank you and honor that, but I just want to honor the blood and the memory that's in the blood with us in it. And I like to honor the blood too, for, because it speaks on our behalf in the courtrooms. And it even speaks on the behalf of others that we don't even are aware of in the courtrooms. Now I'm feeling like I uh, became very, very aware of my heart, like in my physical body, almost like a wishing in my heart right after you guys said that. Mm. Jess, what do you, what do you mean by wishing? Like a whoosh. I feel oh, a, a whoosh. Okay. Yeah. Like it. a whoosh, you know, okay. like a, yeah, yeah like yeah. it came alive or moved around or something <laughs> like okay. the blood was moving through it yeah. yeah and as y'all been talking about the wine or the glory water um i felt within my spirit to reference and that's when i honored the blood the same blood but with the water that that came from Jesus' side, the water that came out of his side when he was pierced. Um, to honor the water, there's a, a, a testament of glory, but light, but in the water. So I wanted to honor that because it was highlighted to me. Well, I guess in the blood, too, you also have water and you also have light. And there's life. I just bring honor to the light and the life and just all the components of what blood is. You know, when you said that, Karen, um, my mind flashed back to um, the way I saw it were the bubbles, you know, what I said, the champagne, you know, how the waterfall water turned to almost like champagne. And I mm -hmm. saw the light, you know, in these orbs in the blood. And they also, for me, represented all the dimensions that are, you know, in his blood and that are in us that flow throughout our bodies that we have access to because of him, because we created us. Now I'm having um, throbbing and sensation in my, um, both the palms of my hands. Wow. I've got. I've had um, two friends come to mind who are both quite ill, and this has never happened in an ascension where I feel like I need to bring them into this for prayer. So um, I just don't know if any of you. I feel like we've accessed. Yes. Blood. Definitely do and it. I, yeah. So I just want to encourage if any other of you have have any people or friends who you know you need prayer who are ailments in their body sick in their body that that come to mind um maybe also to bring them bring them into this uh, it's for us quite, as well guys so, this i'm not is quite good. sure how to do it um just give me a moment yeah just how you see it or just thank jesus for letting them come in 
I want to say the this. Right the now. Is in, she said that every all I saw there's a bunch of other people that you know not on our list on our phone here. That's in this where we are in the bubbles of the blood and uh, and it's like those that are in our group that I haven't seen in a while and and just it's just like so many people. I actually see a massive amount of people. It's almost like on a hillside, but we're in the valley of the hillside and then just as far as you can look out with the, the mountainscape of the hillside of the mountains behind us is is people. It is people. But it's funny that Jessica said from her heart she felt the whoosh and then in her hands she felt her hands the palm of her hands there's healing in the hands but within my spirit I was reminded of a um a Chinese technique it's called chi um you it it almost accesses the meridians or the energy points of the hands and the feet and the bible talks about laying of the hands within the elders but also as everywhere your feet trod the presence of the Lord, but in the chi, it's a constant moving of the hands. And you kind of rock back and forth on the feet just to access what's already within you, within the spirit. It's just a moving meditation, I guess, thing, but there's healing in the hands through the elements of the Holy Spirit that's already in you, but just moving in, I guess, in the simple movement of the hands and the feet unto the Lord. I don't know much about the the chi thing but it was she is energy she is the word for energy yeah when Mm -hmm. you were talking about your hand sweaty that's what was referenced to me is this chi thing and it's just Mm -hmm. movement of hands with the air around and just a rocking of a back and forth of the feet but it's actually into the spirit that's already within you the energy i guess and so as Avril was talking about bringing the people in for healing, I really think there's something to be with that. So I think when God gives it to her, I'm in agreement, but I see a massive, it's like almost as if we're in a valley and there's a, a mountainscape or a hillside scape, and there is a massive amount of people coming in. So I would say all that y'all want to bring in, but that the Lord has planned because Jessica felt the healing in the hands. The energy. Yeah. yeah. And I think the heart reminds me of a, a rhythm and dance, you know, because the blood, I'm not sure how it goes from top to left, left to right or whatever, but I just know it just eventually hits all the chambers in a certain way. And there's that that sound and um, the whoosh and the boom, boom and, and, you know, all that. And it's all like, like rhythm and the dance, kind of like, um, ballet or something you know I could see like uh fabric just kind of movement like you know those dancers that dance with the fabric and it's just swirling and moving and just kind of creating its own thing you know as the dancers moving and my feet are activated now as soon as you said feet earlier I don't know if my attention went there or if, if it was already happening when you spoke it, they kind of went whoosh. You yes. know what I kind of see, and I don't know, you guys are kind of describing the scene already is Anne shared on the chat, just, you know, hold them in our corporate heart. And I, I started naming off people. I put me and my family um, in him, in this blood, in this place. But I kind of see like almost like a tribal type scene where we're doing one of those fire wa- fire lines, you know, but people are just, as we call out the names, they're walking past us and we're holding out our <sighs> hands and we're touching them. So if there's specific people, I just feel like this is for me personally, that's what I've been seeing in my mind is they're almost like walking through our, you know what I'm talking about? Fire tunnel, yeah. you guys, you've been to those where like oh, everybody yeah. lines up and you lay hands on everybody that's coming through. It's yeah. like, that's what I feel like. I see it and like, like outside on the dirt, I heard the drums. I heard like, as soon as Karen started like describing that, it was like the scenery that was going on in my head is they were all walking in a single file line. We were laying our hands on them um, as they each, each and every one of us touching them as they went through and just imparting healing to them and the frequency of healing and love and, and kindness and just wholeness to them. So, and the peace of God in their body in every cell. 
of their body. So I don't know if you guys want to do that, but if it's okay, then I'll I'll do what was brought up for me. I'll start, and then like Mandy saw the people on the side of the hill, she can go onto that, and then you can do that, and we can all just bring what we're feeling. Does that work? That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Father, I'm just sensing um, the flow of your blood and your water, um, which has come up in the conversation as well. Um, and there's a purity to it and there's healing in it, Lord. So I bring Rob and I bring Sue into this scene where we are, Father. And I put them under the waterfall of your blood and of your cleansing water. And I bring them in, Lord, and I extend what I have experienced over onto them. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Father, for bringing... Oh, I see the letters again dancing in front of us again. So mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Father, that you called them to my mind so I can extend this to them, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your healing blood and your healing waters and your refreshing... Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for the people that you brought in the valley by the hillside. I thank you for the activation within the hands and the feet, the energy and the chi that's released in the essence of the flow of your spirit, but in your in your breath. So I thank you, Father, for that. I thank you that you are the life and the source of all that flows in us and through us. And I thank you that as it flows in us from you, it also flows through us and touches each and every one of them that you've intended, um, whether through our DNA, through our ancestors, through our, through our um, descendants before, um, and all also, Father, for all these in our sphere of influence and realm of authority, all that you've intended to be touched by it. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Father, for bringing in those that have special needs, whether it's of the mind or of the body. Father, we just bring in those that as church people we probably hadn't thought of before and because my brain is now drawing a blank i'm just gonna thank you for bringing those people in so that they can experience this their spirit because we know that things happen in this spirit first before it happens here on earth father uh Thank you uh, that we believe uh, you gave through the prudence that giving us a way how how we how to pray and what to pray and how to do the chi through for those who are in need the people around us and to those people who will gonna meet we're claiming Lord that today that you give us a, a new anointing to our hands and feet uh, how to uh, how to uh, release your healing for the people around us and for ourselves please use us mightily father thank you lord you know i used to see all these people like in the water for the last couple of weeks but now he's showing me that there's that same connection of all his not just his people but all those that he has created is in the blood because God's name is in our blood. It's in our cells. <laughs> so, Father, I just call in the spirit all those that are in need of the healing to come to just keep coming, all the ones on the mountainside, Lord, all the ones that are watching from afar, I just give out the invitation to come, to come and be touched. Let their spirits be drawn to this space now, Father. And at the end of this, like Lyme 
I've been seeing that they go into this, the bright light, they go into his light um, as they pass by and are touched. And I've just been seeing different people and, and just laying hands where the Lord's leading, just blessing mm-hmm. them. And as they go, they go into this bright light at the end and they go into him. And it's just a beautiful space for them um, to enter into his peace. And so, Father, I thank you for this sacred space that we're in. I thank you for uh, your anointing that's flowing like your blood and, and river flow and the waterfall. Father, I thank you for all the beloved ones that we're holding in our heart now uh, to be touched deeply. And yes. um, Father, I just, um, Eloisa, I've just been holding you in my arms um, for probably five minutes, just holding you close. My heart's just um, going out to you so much right now. Uh, as a mom, um, I can't imagine. Um, and especially the fact that your husband's not always there, that you're, you're doing it by yourself. And I just want you to know um, we're all holding you in the spirit. And, and I just uh, declare in this space that things are turning around the very thing that you spoke of the the breaking point before the breakthrough that the breakthrough is here for you and for your daughter your sweet daughter i've been laying my hands on her head and um and so father i just thank you that the anointing that we all have in the unity of your oneness as christ in us that is the hope of glory father the powerful anointing will flow through us in a greater measure now And as we touch those around us in the natural, as we go forth from this place, we go with your power, we go with your authority, we go with your wisdom and your stature, we go, we go with your full blessing and favor upon us to change the very frequency of any disease that's in the bodies of those that we touch and that we hold in our hearts with the intention to heal them. We thank you for that, Lord, that you've made us that way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jay. Blaming all the prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name. So when uh, Jess was talking earlier about um, her hands, I saw Jesus um, with his arms outstretched and his hands um, over all of his people like on the hillside. And um, I saw that we had joined into his intercession for his body. He was wearing a multicolored tunic, like a tribal African type. Um, And I prayed for a a missionary today from uh, Kenya. Um, And um, so, you know, it's kind of like those colors, bright yellow and red and orange. And he's got kind of like locks um, you know, with his hair, um, kind of, you know, Hebraic. Um, so basically this invitation to all, and he's, um, even though his back is to me, I can feel his heart saying, you know, thank you for joining in this intercession for my body. And then he showed me, um, his finger that had a slit like cut, but I didn't see the blood there. And then I saw that, um, you know, like as we were joined together and praying um, in Ascension, that these like, um, I want to say, you know, javelins or something, but they look like big cotton swabs and they were darting off into different directions. And so now I'm thinking they are cotton swabs like to heal the cuts because he was telling me, you know, that um, we're praying for his hands and feet, his people, his body. And, um, when we feel a wound or bruised or cut, you know, he of course feels it. And that's what he was showing me with his finger. Um, and, you know, he was showing me the pointy finger, which represents prophetic. So this is, you know, a prophetic, um, symbol. And, um, I just saw him continually, with his arms outstretched, you know, praying as intercessor and um, high priest, you know, uh, praying with us and through us. Thanks for sharing that, Maggie. When my hands got activated, I put them up as if I was on the cross. I put them out like that. So that was really special. 
that you said that, that he was doing that, such a unity in the spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I just want to mention that I, I really felt led that when we were done with the people going through that we were the last ones to turn and go through and head into the light. I don't know if anyone else feels that or if that resonates at all. It does with me, yes. Yeah, it resonates because I watched his hand turn and as he stuck his, as he was turning his hand and stuck it down which would be his left hand down, the middle of his hand turned into the light. I've been feeling like we've been becoming the vibration and frequency of the light, that we are the light in the blood. Amen. So does somebody want to lead us through the light? Do you like? <laughs> I thank you, Father, for moving in and through and around us with your light, your frequency, and your vibration as we meld in and become the blood, the light that's in the blood, as we step in as one, and we just step in, we just become, we just uh, vibrate with that frequency, the frequency of, of your living letters. You can feel it just rippling through us and pulsating through us in a rhythm and a dance. Amen. I, I see colors. Yes. Like the frequency and vibrations of colors now. I'm not even sure if I'm in the same timeline. To tell you the truth, I feel like I'm in multiple dimensions and timelines all at the same time, Does if that makes any sense. Yeah, I agree. I can see a different colors. It's like the DNA is moving. Uh, beautiful different colors like inside the body or other dimension. It's hard to explain, but I, I see, I can see different colors. I've been seeing different colors as well, like rainbow colors from when Jessica said we went into the light. I was very aware that almost like the white light was surrounded by rainbow colors. And I can resonate with um, the white light in the colors, but also as what Eloise said about the entwining of the DNA. Yes. Um, the entwining of the DNA, but it was almost as the blood, but of light in the blood. Yes. And as we went in through the light, it was the interchanging of the different colors. But it feels to me like um, Karen's talking about in multiple dimensions. I almost feel like I'm in the universe, but of the universe. Like it's all a part of me, but I'm in it. Um, kind of it's it's deep if that makes any sense like i'm so small but yet all things are in me but yet i'm i'm me in all things um dimensionally uh, universally kind of thing in dimensions and timelines i feel like we're in different you know bopping back and forth from dimensions to time and this is so sci-fi-ish it's not i can't even comprehend it 
I went through what was like ancient doorways of the symbolism, the symbol, the actual pict pictograph of the yod hey vav hey, and it it was like um, in front of me. I went through the yod, and then I went through the hey, and then I went through the vav, and then I went through the hey. So when you spoke up and said dimensions, that's it's, I'm just getting it from a different perspective, I guess, because that made a lot of sense to me. Mm. I went through multiple uh, access pathway doorways through the name. So a sense, maybe I was climbing the DNA ladder, but going through it from like in front of me, I was stepping through a door and then another door and then another door. And they were very stone age looking to me, which made me think ancient, like ancient pathways. What does the red color represent in the seven spirits? Anyone know off the top of their head? The spirit of the Lord. It's the head, the center of the menorah. That all things kind of flow from is what I understand. The spirit of the Lord. I'm seeing the red is being highlighted to me. And it's not a blood red. It's like a, a, a light red, like a translucent red. I was thinking wisdom, something to do with wisdom, but... I could be wrong. It's like a ruby red when the light shines through a ruby. Well, red can also represent passion and love. Yeah, and his blood, you know. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, you know, flip side of it. I'm seeing like a highlighted path. It's like, just imagine if you see a rainbow, but the rainbow is only red, but it's not an arc rainbow. It's a, just in front of us and it's just going straight. Um, it is, yeah, it, it, it sounds like a, a, a path. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels like a path and it's... Uh... Yeah, I feel like we should maybe go down that path. Yeah, I agree. Anyone else? Let's go. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. I'm heading down yeah, that path. Shuba, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shaba, Shuba. So let's head down there. I just see it. There's not a path like on a road. It's just like a path in space highlighted yeah. by a red color. Yes, I see it like that. Oh, there's wind in it. It's like a wind tunnel. Life, you know, spirit, breath, grew up. I also sense this is where Lady Wisdom is coming in. Like there's some wisdom to be had here. Okay. That will be released.
I just heard the word flow. Like there's a flow that's um, coming in. And <clears throat> first I heard that uh, Avril would uh, have a, a painting come out of this. So I thought, oh, there's creative energy here. And, and then I heard it's like blood flow. It's a flow. There's a flow in this place. I want to encourage you to breathe in. Creative Lord. Thank you, Lord. Avril, did you say to breathe it in? Yeah, breathe in. Breathe in the red, the red light. Breathe it in. Take deep breaths. Just imagine it filling your whole body of this, this red light. I'm definitely sensing wisdom. Thank you, Lady Wisdom. We receive you and we breathe you in. We are wisdom. We contain wisdom. Wisdom is within us. We activate wisdom within us. Oh, it's like a pressure on me now. I'm being pushed down. I'm actually free flow dancing over here. I mean, I'm just in, imparting the flow to my body and just letting it just do whatever it wants. That's how I'm kind of aligning to the frequency of the flow and the wisdom. Y'all, I just feel like it's getting thicker and thicker yeah. and thicker. And I mean, it is hard. I, I'm serious. It's hard to talk or even hold my head up. So don't. <laughs> just lay there and let it, let it come. I've got my Andy, hand. that's how I was at the very beginning, remember? Yes. There's so much peace <laughs> and weight. It's very weighty. I've got my hands open. It feels like there's, I felt this before with the, with the weight of his glory. It's like, it feels like this, I'm, my hands are holding things. Like I've got these big, heavy balls in my hands. That's like pressing down on my hands. I mean, it's got my flesh queasy. It's so thick. Thank you, Lord. We receive, we receive. We surrender, we submit. I have a giddiness now. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> joy, just joy bubbled up in me. I see like this rainforest mountaintop and we're like above it. And uh, like I was seeing it in layers, like there are these different paths that are on this mountain and it's been overgrown with vegetation. And now I see us, you know, 
each God's got us each on a different path, but similar, like we're all connected, but we're all like not, and we're creating, like he's got us on his path. And <coughs> to us, it's a new path, but in the same sense, it's not, it's like finding lost love, finding lost information, uh, you know, things we hadn't thought about and just, and it's all making this connections because we're in this rainforest and all the trees are connected. So they all know what's going on between all of us, even though we're all on these different paths. You can just see like these different paths moving through this mountain. All I can say is blush with it. It's like really, really bright, vivid emerald green everywhere. <coughs> Almost like I entered into something, like a mountain or an area or space that's emerald green. See green too. Green's a complementary color of red. So the two colors vibrate against each other and enhance each other. It's also the healing color of light, the frequency of healing. Emerald green. So like the heart chakra um, color for healing. And counsel. That's Not right. That, yeah. So where did you tell me the green again? I was sort of in a different zone for a minute. The green. I, I was just saying it's the heart chakra area. It's uh, also the light frequency for healing. But I mean, where did you see it? You just saw it or was it? In I, I didn't see it. They're seeing it. And they said emerald green. Okay. And I was just describing when I've worked with the energetic field and colors for yeah. healing bodies and, and stuff. It Green is, is for healing and it's also in the heart area. I received that, Jessica, that okay. word you just given me, but it was as if I walked into a green area, almost like a vivid, Karen was talking about the rainforest, but I didn't see trees and stuff, but it was this emerald green, almost as if I was in a, in an emerald green cave, or it could have been the rainforest, I don't know, I wasn't seeing trees, but I mean, everything, it was almost as a stone, that's why it puts me in the idea of a cave or a mountain, because it was, I guess if you're looking at a stone or a geode or something, you know, the, the rising and stuff, but it was emerald green. So some shadows were a little bit darker than the other shadows, but it was this vivid emerald green area that I just went into.
I must share this. I feel like I'm in perfect rest, but perfect peace. I mean, you know, I ain't felt like this in a long time. Yeah, I feel I have I have uh, too much joy in my heart. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. God is good, huh? Thank you, Father. Yes, he is. He knows exactly what we need. Yes. I got the sense a few minutes ago that it's like we're all a wheel within the wheel within him. And it's like mm -hmm. one of us speaks and the toggle turns and then it activates the next person who experiences the, the feeling and the, and the stuff. And then it, that person releases that and it turns and then the next per it goes to the next person. <laughs> That's what I, I got this sense of that happening on this call tonight, that it's like each one of us is a wheel within each other, the wheel. Yeah, that's good. Yes. I just had the joy and I released it. Now Eloisa's got it. It's like it's just toggle. It's like tick, tick, tick. And then it just goes to the next one. And as we release what we're experiencing, it's it's turning that wheel that's that's touching the next one that to experience that, you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I just want to say thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, and I honor the fact that everything I walked into this ascension with, um, I feel a weightiness even more, but it's not weighty as far as the issues of the world and things that I was dealing with, but it is a, I feel a weightiness of his glory and his presence. Um, there was a divine exchange, um, and I'm thankful, and I want to honor that, um, Mm. Yeah, like giving him the bundles of stuff. Like you feel the, the weight of his glory, but the cells in your body are lighter. Everything's lighter. I don't know if yeah. you guys feel that like, but that piece, it's like I feel like I could almost be floating above my bed right now because it's like I'm so rested and at peace and at the same time my body feels so light like it's like lighter yeah moving at a faster rapid pace maybe I don't know but I don't feel the weight of my body I feel his the weight of his presence and my body's kind of gone right now it's just not really I don't feel it it feels really good. I'm trying to explain to Alan here um, at the table. He comes in just a minute ago. I said, I feel so high. Like I've got the munchies. Like I've been smoking major marijuana or something over here. Y'all. <laughs> major. I'm serious. And, and I'm trash. And he's looking at me like he's an older gentleman. He's like, um, he's not, he's hearing us and he's not driving. <laughs> he's got his little paper and walked back off. He's like, um, but. <laughs> I mean, I'm so weighty and stuck. I, I don't know if anybody's ever been stuck before. Yes. Like stuck, I'm stuck, but I'm so light and fluffy, but I'm stuck so heavy. <laughs> and I'm just like, I understand what Karen was saying about giving the back, but I never officially did that, but he did it, I guess, to all of us when she did it. And I was just like, yeah, I'm in agreement, but I just wasn't thinking about and now that I'm so stuck, y'all, I mean, I, I've, I've tried to get out of the chair of the living room to come into the table at the kitchen to grab a bag of chips to be stuck in my chair because I feel like I feel, I feel Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm so thankful, but I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Allen just got his thing up and was like, Well, I don't know about this. <laughs> it's okay, Alan. I promise. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm telling you, I feel like I've just got smoked weed or something. Like, I'm like, I don't know anything about you. You're totally me. You're totally me. <laughs> it's the brand of the Lord. Yeah. No, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The presence of the Lord. Now, I have to say, I have been taken into some areas of the garden that I was, I command that witchcraft spirit right now, Jesus. Name, you got to go away. The Lord is laughing at me like, you, you talk about you want to run to the garden in some areas of the garden. You're screaming, get the witchcraft spirit. I was like, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were seeing Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> the emerald green. Yeah, it's the emerald green. It was the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. As I blow, instead of just love bubbles and everybody, love flowers. And I thank you, Father. Y'all do know we're children of the flowers. Like we are, we are flower children. Um, the flowers in heaven sing and they dance. And he, Father says he closes us better than the lilies. But there is something to them, the move of love and truth that's being downloaded that does have a tie back to the 60s and 70s, you know, when everybody was flower power and flower girl and flower mm. children, the love and peace. But there's an essence and a real line of truth that even then they, they were tapping into the spirit, but it's with a, a different understanding, but it's actually circulating back around. So, you know, it has to, there's truth in it. And uh-huh. uh, yeah, it was just so funny because I seen a poster today and I'm looking at Jesus, free Jesus, flower, power, flower, children, the head bends, the bell bottoms, the love and the peace. And it was all about Jesus, but we're all in love, but then we're smoking our weed, but it's about Jesus and we're, we're in love. And, and that's what I feel like I've been doing. It's been all about Jesus. I've not officially smoked anything, but I'm zapped, if that makes any sense. And I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, because I really needed it. And he knew what I needed. Um, I mean, I almost burst in my gut. So it's good exercise for the abdomen and it releases something physically in the body when you get this out static burst of joy and laughter. It physically does something when your abdomen wall hurts, but it's physically healthy for your physical body. <laughs> and, mm. and <laughs> <laughs> there was a medical dissertation there. <laughs> I want to honor the fact though that that he's revealing in this time truth and more more about his not necessarily that we have to study him to know him but we're knowing more about his true character of love and truth and really how much he loves us um and how the foolish things confine the wise and how it is like the simplicity of a child. It's so, he knows exactly what we need, but it's so innocent. Like, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. 
was so much easier and lighter. We're very weighed down by our own stuff. Mm -hmm. I love what Karen said. It's like the great exchange, you know? Yeah. And the beauty is you can do this anytime. Every time there's something we just forget, you know? I just opened, I just turned and opened to scripture just where my eyes fell. It's in Revelations 21. It says, um, then he said to me, it has been accomplished for I am the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end. I will give water to all who are thirsty. As my gracious gift, they will continually drink from the fountain of living water. The conquering ones will inherit these gifts from me. I will continue to be their God and they will continue to be continue being children for me wow revelation 21 what um i'm not in too much light here it looks about awesome six maybe 21 six to eight or something somewhere around there in the yeah, it yeah it is right there yeah I'll put it in our chat. Thank you. Well, it's eight. Does everybody feel good about where we're at? Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel so yeah. much more relaxed. Yes. That's awesome. And I feel like because bunch of people came in you know at that one point to be in the blood and the light of the blood and all that I feel like um like I don't have to release anything because they all kind of came in yes yeah that's beautiful well do y'all feel like we need to go ahead and seal it yeah. The blood of Jesus. <laughs> Unless anybody has anything else they'd like to add. Mm. Any final last words? I just want to I just want to really thank God because I've been in a very very dry season. And just tonight was really refreshing for me. And that's why that scripture about, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give, if you're thirsty, I'll give you living water. So I just want to thank and acknowledge God for that. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you. Him. I want to acknowledge him for that too. And so we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name for tonight. We thank you that you allowed us to drink from your living waters. Um, we thank you that you are the refreshing source that will always quench our thirst, but that we should never thirst again. And um, I thank you for that. And I want to honor each and every person that was here tonight, every person that you brought through the line, wisdom in you, your blood, your water, um, the spirit of the Lord, and even the colors, the vivid colors that we see. And so I thank you. And so I seal this ascension tonight with the blood of Jesus and with the anointing of your spirit and your presence. And I thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.